What's going on, Vikings fans? Welcome to Minnesota Vikings Now by Chat Sports. My name is Patrick Seatman. Welcome in. We got a big time Justin Jefferson contract update as we are exactly 24 hours away from kickoff versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I'm honestly shocked. A deal hasn't been kind of come to fruition just yet. We've obviously seen, seen guys like Nick Bosa, Joe Burrow. Those guys have gotten extended same draft class as Jefferson. So it's a little shocking that, uh, you know, Jefferson hasn't gotten this deal done. But Kevin Seifert, the beat reporter for ESPN, he had a bombshell report this morning, which we'll be getting into in just a second, guys. But we are going to be live for the games tomorrow. We'll be live 30 minutes before kickoff. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. So you guys can be there and come hang out with us. And also, if Jefferson gets extended later today, we will be posting a video for you guys, breaking it all down, going over all the contract details and more. So, hey, if you guys want to make, make my day, make me look really good for my bosses, I would really, really appreciate it. The season's here. I'm super excited to dive into it. But let's dive into the Kevin Seifert report around Justin Jefferson. So the report came out today that Jefferson, he obviously wants to sign a new contract extension but the quote was, it's up to them. So this was the uh, exact quote from Justin Jefferson. He said, I've done something that no one has ever done in the history of the game. So my situation is a little bit different than everyone else's. Of course, I'm going to, I'm going into my fourth year trying to talk about contract two years early. And then he followed up to say this, of course, I want a contract to be done. But at the end of the day, it's all up to them and what ownership wants to do with that jefferson also said he's letting his agent handle all that and he is focusing on football and after just kind of hearing that like god damn the minnesota vikings are lucky that he is the receiver that we have like you know we've heard this diva notion around the receiver position in the nfl for so long now like dating back to the obj antonio brown like these guys just have really big big personalities and jefferson does have a big personality but it doesn't impact his kind of uh what he's doing on the football field. And I think I respect that so much with Jefferson. Like, I just feel like you have a player in your organization, unreal talent, a great dude inside the locker room. But now also when kind of push comes to shove in these sticky contract situations, like Jefferson just saying, I'm here to play football. That's my job. I'll let my agent and Quasey kind of handle the details of this contract whenever it gets done. Because I think Jefferson, this also comes from a place of self-confidence. Like he said in this quote, I've done something that no one has ever done in the history of the game. So my situation is a little bit different than everyone else's. I think that just comes from a place of confidence when he knows I know what I have to do. Like, I know what deal is going to get done, essentially. Like, it's not like he's, like, in a position where maybe, like, a maybe like a guy like K.J. Osborne would be in, where it's like, oh, he's kind of like, you know, he's good, but is he, like, a really the top-end wide receiver? Jefferson is that. Jefferson is the top wide receiver in this game. You know, I, I wish this deal would have been done earlier. I wish just to not have any of this drama going into week one. But I like Jefferson's mindset because there is a game tomorrow. Like, for him personally, the contract will be dealt with. But for him... It's focused in, he's, he's focusing on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers secondary right now. He shouldn't be focusing on getting paid. And listen, for right or wrong reason, like, I agree with him. Like, I love the way he's been handling this. Because he could have said, you know what, I'm not going to practice until I get paid. Kind of similar to what TJ Hawkinson did, where maybe Hawk didn't necessarily hold out, but it was a hold in, where he was still at Minnesota Vikings, uh, you know, practices and training camp, but he was dealing with the, you know, the ear infection and lower back, you know, injury, which kind of just turned out to be, uh, you know, a little bit bullshit. But Jefferson, he's never made a bad remark around, around the Vikings organization, and I just really, really respect that because, listen, he's one of the best players in the NFL. Like, I think it's him micah nick bosa tj watt as like the best non-quarterbacks in the league and the fact that a wide receiver is even in that conversation i think it is special but i want to ask you guys i want you guys to get your predictions in here because i was saying there's no way he goes out there like week one against the buccaneers without a contract extension like i still thought he would play but i just thought a deal would get done let me know do you guys think a deal gets done before tomorrow's game against the tampa bay buccaneers give me a y for yes or give me an n for no now let's just talk about Jefferson a little bit as a whole to kind of round out this show because 
Again, I think the Vikings, I mean, absolutely blessed. Like, we've heard other players in the NFL, like, when they talk about Jefferson, it's like, yeah, he's unreal talented. Like, we know that. But he kind of just has this superstar aura. Like, I don't know for anybody that has ever watched the hit TV show. Uh, it's on HBO. It's uh, Entourage. Like, and it's about, like, uh, Vinny Chase. He's, like, this big-time actor. And, like, everybody just talks about throughout the show. He just has this aura of him being a superstar. Like, that's who Jefferson is. Like, Justin Jefferson. That's a superstar name, and he's making a name for himself in the league. And, you know, I'm going to say this, like, I think he's got an outside chance to win MVP this year. If I had to bet on any non-quarterback to win that award, I would lean Jefferson over any edge rusher. Like, I know edge rushers have gotten that award in the past, and we have still yet to, uh, you know, obviously see a receiver um, you know, lock up that award, but let's just say Jefferson this year, you know, with the doubts around the Vikings defense, like let's just say he goes out there and the Vikings win 13 games again with a tough schedule. Like they Vikings play the final four, uh, NFL teams or the last four NFL teams standing this year in the Bengals, Chiefs, uh, Niners and Eagles. Let's just say the Vikings somehow go out there, win 12, 13 games, and maybe Jefferson goes for 1800 again. And this defense for the Vikes is still a little shaky. Like, I think he would have a great argument because, listen, I love Kirk Cousins. I think he's a very underrated quarterback. I love what he's done with the Vikings, just the epitome of consistency around this organization just throughout his time in the NFL. Let's just say Jefferson just goes out there and puts a team on his back like he did last year. And he's got another big time plays like the fourth and 18 in Buffalo, like the, you know, the miracle comeback against the Indianapolis Colts. Like, I think he could really make an argument. Shit, last year he was fifth in MVP voting and he had 1,800 yards. Like, I think he's going to need to have like a statistical outlier season where if he crosses past 2,000, I think he would for sure get the award unless another quarterback goes absolutely bonkers. But I think it would have to be a situation where it was very similar to how AP won this award back in 2012, where AP was coming off that torn ACL and he ran for over 2,000 yards. Even Peyton Manning that year, that was the year Peyton Manning blew up the record books and he had one of the best offenses in the league in Denver, had them absolutely humming, but we saw AP do something that no other player has done. And I think that is what it's going to have to take. But Jefferson, would I be shocked if you would ever win an MVP award? No, like I think he's the one dude in this league that could definitely shake that mold of being that first guy, that first receiver to actually bring home the award. And I just love it. Like this final quote by him, of course, I would want a contract to be done. But at the end of the day, it's all up to them and what ownership wants to do with that. That's just everything you would want out of you know your superstar player who has that contract negotiation going on. Credit to Jefferson, absolutely handling this like how I would want to handle this, how I would want my best player to handle this situation. So, hey, get down in the comments, type this number, type 18 down in the comment section, show this dude some love because we, we are kind of taking this for granted as Vikings fans that this could have been a diva situation. This could have been, I'm not going to practice. I'm not doing anything without this contract. He's handling it like a professional, just like how he's always been throughout his NFL career. So Jefferson, you're the best. Thank you for the way you're handling this because... This deal should be done by now. You should not go out there week one and play without a contract. But, you know, at the end of the day, we'll have to wait and see what happens uh, from now until game time. We've got about 24 hours for that deal to get done. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Stay in the loop if you guys haven't already. We're going to be live for the game 30 minutes before kickoff. So I hope to see all you guys there. It's going to be a ton of fun. Hopefully Vikings get that win against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Week one, U.S. Bank Stadium. Be there. Skull Vikes.